Boy, do I feel stupid. So here's the deal. Um, so I got um, one of my uh, mini SD cards here. It's a uh, two gig. Dropped it. Live video people here. Um, yeah, so these are my mini SD cards. Two gigs. Um, here's the thing. Um, they don't record video. Um, well, at least not with my camera. Um, my camera is an HD, an HV, yeah, an HD V20, um, and they don't record video. So I was hoping today that I would, you know, do videos on the go. But no, it turns out that I still need tapes. Um, these, these with with my camera, I can only get uh, pictures, um, which. It's not bad. Um, one minute here. Because a while ago, some days ago, I let someone uh, borrow my my actual picture camera here, and uh, they broke it. This they, they broke it, so I can't use this thing anymore. So was thirty six bucks. Because I ordered, I ordered two of these, two of these here, and it ultimately came out to like 36 bucks. So, is 36 bucks worth replacing an old $80 camera that got broken? I say yeah. Um, fair trade. Am I angry? Nah. Disappointed? Yes, because I put the storyline on hold and I really didn't want to do that. Um, but now, in order to get it started up again, um, or at least back on track, I need tapes now, and that's uh, an issue in and of itself. And I still have to move my entire rig, and that's another issue, and it's just very, very clunky. Um, I'm actually going to be really busy um, in October, because I got a second job um, just for this month. I'm, I'm working on this play, um, so I'm going to be doing that. And it's just a lot of crap that I'm just dealing with this month. And I really thought the SD cards were going to come through, but it turns out I'm going to need like a, another camera for that, which isn't bad. I just got to talk to my girlfriend and see what kind of camera she has because her camera actually gets videos with mini SD cards. Um, at least I think it does. I'm pretty sure it does, so I'll have to talk to her about that and just see what kind of camera she has. Because I, if I'm remembering correctly, hers wasn't exactly that expensive, so I'll just get in touch with her and just figure out to, to help facilitate everything because, uh, yeah, I, I really, I'm, I'm really disappointed um, in, in just what, what came of everything. Um, but on a lighter note, here's something that I was, well, I wanted to vlog last night, but I got home late, and I actually got to get up early today, well, tomorrow, because I'm working early tomorrow. Um, but um, yesterday, I was out of school um, for my other job. We do uh, uh, we do school events and whatnot, you know, like mini concerts and whatnot, where I'm I'm the uh, the sound engineer for doing the you know the, the mixing, the music and whatnot. And this was a school event, it was like a fun run they had up there. And at the end, when it was all said and done, the assistant principal um, comes up to my group and you know, he's like, hey, good job everybody, you know, great work. And, and then he leans over to me and he said, oh, by the way, you know who was watching you while you were DJing? And I was like, no, who? Eminem. Turns out Eminem was there and he saw me DJing. Don't know how to feel about that. It's not like he, you know, made any comments about how good, great of a DJ I was or anything like that. I'm, I'm not. I'm not saying I'm like, you know, magic on the turntables or anything. But just interesting. Nothing's gonna become of it. I'm, I know. You know, I'm not expecting him to call me up for a job or anything. But it's just interesting that he was there. Um, for those of you who don't know, I live in Michigan, so. The, you know, the off chance of, you know, Eminem being in the area isn't exactly far-fetched, but 
interesting nonetheless. Anyway, that's all I have to report for now. Um, yeah, that's it. Peace.